Just nice footwork all around, keeping that inbounds and then getting the cross in and forcing it to go out for a corner. Edmund. Probably heads it in for the left side, almost in front of the goal. To equalize. Shot to clear is coming right back. Good cross there. And the angle. Oh, another great. Once again, great penetrating run. Matthews plays the ball back. Monday looking to take a shot. This field. They're calculating. Redirected. Caro. Able to get another great save. Flag did go up though towards the end. And once again, great cross right here. A header to the far post. Oh. And look at Carlos. Clinic bouncing off players. Two on two. Evan. He got Roberts on the left side. Took it in himself. And Carl. Cruising right now. Al Hamelli on the inside. Here's the shot taken. Caro knocks it down. To avoid the whistle and create the turnover. Here we go. Let's see if Kieran gives it back to him. Roberts in. He's going to keep it himself. And it's blocked by Caro. Another. Gets the return pass. Cuts to the middle. Chips it inside. Great ball here. Chance for UMBC. Vincent turns. Shoots. Harris to save. Rebound. It goes wide. I believe it was Vincent on the second opportunity. Harris had the first chance. Great pass by Hauk inside as he threads the needle. Pulliam touches it for Harris. Shot blocked by Caro, and then it's actually... Hawks, another sloppy ball and a shot taken by the Hawks. What a great save by Caro. Hartwick had the perfect attack on, and Caro able to deny it once again. Yeah, he was off sides, but once again, great job at Carlos Caro. Look at this combination. One, two, three, and three passes. Great ball right here. Great in the back post. He was off sides, however, but that's exactly what Howard needs to do. Uh, Hartwick needs to do. See that triangulation? They never took more than two touches. Ooh. Robert! Robert! They've got numbers again. Bison scrambling to get back. That ball lost in traffic. And now freed up. Shot taken. He is frustrated. Wanting a call. Shot to clear is threatening the other way now. And attacking it's Morton Tim. Direct shot. Oh, Carroll. And now Larson. The pass up field. Inside the 18, shot goes off the hand of Cora. And the shot by the Eagles, a little bit too hard. Sander Wang on the shot, and he's just not able to get the right part of his foot on it. Sends that ball, you see right here in the replay, ball across in the box. Just caved by Cara, and not able to get the right part of his left foot on it. Sends that high above the goal. And that was Josh Bronstorff on the initial attack. Inside the 18, shot taken, Caro. Able to avert danger once again. Amazing. Great shot by Jamie O'Grady inside the 18. He got a great turn. But how about that save by Carlos Carroll? You see it right here. Great cross. Howard not able to clear the ball. O'Grady gets to the end of that. Oh, that's big time. John Gill goes far side. Good look for Vincent. Shot, and it's just wide. Big save. Retrieves his own pass. Good play defensively by the Bison now. Hauk from long range, a big save by Caro, as that shot was well meant for the corner. And Carlos Caro, Caro got a hat with the arm. Wyant with the chip. The long ball for Howard. On the first day. Now keep in mind, Coastal Carolina, Georgia State, they both have first round buys. So if they just take care of their business, win tomorrow. Definitely one of the more dangerous teams, you know, winning games like 3-0, 4-1, 3-1, 3 all in a row. So Georgia Southern, very, uh, you know, dangerous team. And Georgia State.
that will take the free kick. And it's Wang. It's a save by Caro. Wang trying to redeem himself after his missed opportunity there a second ago and almost found the bottom right corner. Very skilled curved shot right there. That's where you want to cross the ball. O'Grady in the box and a good save by Caro. That was the best cross, Eddie, that they have had today. That's right. Great ball into the box for the big man on top. Jamie O'Grady, who got there just a bit late. And corner kicks, and that's why you shouldn't give any outside the box. Well, that was a perfect sample right there with a great service by Leroy Buta to the far post. Excellent save by Lenny Wilson because that ball was going in. And, of course, off the rebound. Just came Kyle Celestine finding that ball in the six just to top it in and put Howard up 1-0 early in this first half. in the nearby surrounding area, but came to the decision this would be the best side. I think great decision made, and we are going to be here for the next three days. Semifinals tomorrow, championship on Sunday. Georgia Southern has advanced as they will take on the heavy rain here in the Conway, South Carolina area. Push the first round to today. Still have a bit of a soft field as we did this morning. The sun has done a good job drying that field over the last few hours, Eddie. But as you can see, it has taken a little bit of a beating here into the second. Or two, they may not see the conference tournament. Even a, even a, not even the playing game. And it really all depends on how Georgia Southern plays against. Lavaris. Piero can't catch up to it. They're talking. The ball sends it down. Robinson, oh, almost, huh? Almost a chance for an opportunity as first career Highlander towel. Under 22 minutes to go. And just nothing of any stability at all for how it's fallen to the ground. But a nice effort by the freshman. Gets a nice round of applause. That'd have been an acrobatic first goal, huh? Gomez sends it down. Here's Howard trying to get one late. Sent in over the net. Inman six starts last season. Corner kick on the way. Kick is up right in front of the net and picked up by Howard. Smart play to try to clear it out and just force the corner kick, prevent any more danger, but dangerously close to going in the back of the net and being an own goal. Here comes Inman. He's going to kick this one away. Fires right in front of the net and picked up by Carlo. Impressive job running it in. Third corner kick of the day for the Panthers. And Zagani Deckham in the corner. His shot on the way, it's a high floater, just past the net, crosses it on, and Carlo fishes that one up alongside. Good pass down side. But Siggy making an impact early on. I mentioned in pregame, 6-0-1 the Panthers were when he scored a goal. Corner kick, here it is, tries to head it, and Carlo punches that one. Uh, Howard did not play in their first game. Oh. 
Here's Noel. Another high arcing corner play for the UMBC corner. Here's Noel. Cormac low liner, and it's right into the hands of Caro. Good read by the Howard keeper that time. Another opportunity goes by for UMBC. 